What is going on guys? It's Saw here. How we doing? It's been a while since I made a video, but today we are doing a price breakdown on phase one of the budget Raptor build. Now I'm gonna spin the camera around here. For those of you that know, this is my 2011 F-150 Lariat. It is not a real Raptor. I cannot afford a real Raptor, even though I really, really want a real, real Raptor. So what I've done is I bought some takeoff Raptor wheels and tires and I did a small leveling kit and I've taken the running boards off and that is literally it. So that is gonna be phase one. It is gonna be the most expensive phase because wheels and tires are expensive as fuck. So we, uh, yeah, so, but this is supposed to be a budget, budget build. So we are gonna do it as much of a, on as much of a budget as we can because I'm like, a, I'm a college student, work part-time, so I can't really afford a whole lot of fancy shit for this. So anyway, bought these wheels and tires off eBay, $1,300. They had 50 miles on them. Uh, shipped to my door for 200 bucks, so it's $1,500 for shipping. And then I spent $114 on a uh, two and a half inch front lift kit and a half inch, not a half inch, inch and a half rear lift kit that I have not put on yet. And that's it. But then I sold the factory wheels and tires. Uh, even though the wheels, I mean the tires were, were completely bald, they were dry rotted, they had no life left in them. They were all terrains and I priced out a set of all terrains just to replace them. And what I, I wanted to get 33s and I was looking at over a thousand dollars to have mounted balance and everything. So I figured I might as well look for a set of Raptor wheels and tires because I mean, they look fucking sick. And I just buy a lift kit and I'd try to run them. So, uh, I'm all in this without selling the wheels and tires or running boards. All in, I am at, let's see, what, $1,600 and $15, something like that. I got a, bought a set of lug nuts, so $1,600 and $50. So, but then I sold the, wheel, the factory wheels and tires and the running boards for $450 total. So I am in it now at $1,200, which is about $100 more than the quote was to get 33s for the factory wheels and tires. So, I think it was a smart financial decision because it looks better. It's what I wanted anyway. I was going to get a set of aftermarket wheels and tires that were like, not factory takeoffs, but those, they wanted like two grand plus for those. So, yeah. Um, next step, we are gonna be color matching, getting, getting rid of all the chrome on the truck, uh, mirror caps, bumpers, grill, headlights, and some tint, probably. Um, I, 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 need, I really need to do rust, because these it's got rust like all of these Fords do, because it has a sunroof and the drain is like ends there, so all the water pools down here, and it's fucking ridiculous, but it is what it is. Um, I do need to do that at some point, but it's not a priority for me since it's not that, you can't really see it unless you look at it closely. I am gonna do rear tail lights because I hate chrome. And so I can't decide if I'm gonna paint match these or like just plastic them from now, just to do it on the cheap. But I will let you guys know. Um, I'm gonna do a, uh, like a test video, do some high speed gravel road shit and just some random stuff just to see how it performs. I've had already had this set up for about 5,000 miles and it rides better than the factory wheels and tires because it's just more sidewall. The, the front leveling kit doesn't really affect it at all. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. This channel's just got 200 subscribers. It's like 204 subscribers right now. And we're gonna try to keep growing that. And I'm gonna try to start posting more consistently because that's what you're supposed to do as a YouTuber, apparently. All right guys, thanks for watching. Adios.